Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this week we're going to take a look at some of the privacy settings that you may be concerned about that you might want to turn off. Um, it's really going to be a fair opinion of myself using this Windows 10 computer. So I'll tell you why I don't turn it off but I will also show you where you can turn it off. Why? Because we don't all have the same concern. Some people are more concerned about Microsoft snooping on you than others. But it's fair to explain and show where these settings are so that you can actually act depending on what you feel is the right way to manage privacy settings in Windows 10. So the first one, I got to say, is a little controversial for an operating system, and it's the advertising ID. So go into your settings, either by going to the bottom right into the quick actions and go into settings, or you can click the start menu, click the settings. Here you will go into privacy. And in the general privacy tab, which is the tab that you see when you actually go into privacy, the first one, let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting to you based on your app activity. And it says turning this off will reset your ID. Okay, here's the, there's a catch and there's also a reason behind this. The catch, if you turn it off, you're still going to have adver advertising. It's just that it's not going to be relevant to your use of your computer. So you got to understand that turning this off doesn't switch off advertising within apps, for example, in Windows 10. Now, if you switch it off, what is going to happen is that your, um, I, I would say your browsing habits, the way that you deal with apps, the way the apps that you download, all of that information is going to be removed. So that, that's why it says here, it's going to reset the ID. That means it won't really, every time there's an ad that needs to be displayed in, for example, a Microsoft Store app that you download, and even the ones that are within Windows, for example, the mail in, the mail in the calendar app, it's just that the difference is that now it's going to display some random ad because it won't have the information for you. The uh, Leaving this on means that it's logging your activity. It knows what you're looking at. It knows what you like. And that's maybe the biggest problem. I personally don't have too much problem with ads as long as they're not too annoying or too uh, in your face type ads. Although in Windows, it's kind of, uh, you know, something that you can, we can discuss. I probably, you know, in an operating system, putting ads is another story. But the fact is, the difference here is you're going to be tracked or not. And that's where the privacy is. Do you mind getting tracked in exchange for getting ads that are relevant to what you do with your computer and do you do every day in your life? Or do you prefer they just don't have any of that information on you? And that's where this setting is. And by the way, even if you have a ad blocker, this the ad blockers don't block anything of ads within apps. I just want to tell you, okay? It only works in a browser with the ads in, uh, the, in the websites you visit. So it's up to you. Do you want to have relevant ads? I personally leave it on. Why? Because if I'm to have ads, I rather have ads about things that I um, might be interested in than ads with things that I will never use. But that's personal and it goes with the fact that I do not believe any there's anything bad with the tracking. But you know what? That could be a fool. You're totally right. You might be just saying, oh, well, you fool. You shouldn't think like that. It's okay. We all have our opinion and it's, it's cool. But at least I'm showing you here, you can turn it off and it's going to lower the amount of tracking for the ads that are displayed within Windows 10 apps. And I hope <laughs> that uh, you enjoyed our video. If you do, please subscribe, 
give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.